standard access mechanism. Survive and hold on is a business rationale. The billions of dollars in revenue earnings worldwide economies and industries are trying to capture and recapture are locked in an unaccommodated creator population. This population does not show up in any census, demographic, welfare, charity, incarceration, school enrollment, school dropout, or affirmative action perspective. Achieving and keeping abundant revenues now hinge on these practice models that are designed to address the basic human needs of the product source. In Higher Lyric's case, the worldwide population of disadvantaged creators. On our next uh, segment, we're going to do um, uh, the characteristics and attributes of how to recognize the population of worldwide, the, uh, the worldwide population of disadvantaged creators and how their products making it, including career contribution, making it to market or not are, in fact, impacting revenues and quality of life. A report came out today um, that one in uh, 50 children in America experience homelessness. Do you think that's because their parents choose to have them experience homelessness? No. It's because their parents, after doing all they possibly could, could not navigate and benefit from what's available to them. All right, Which is, first of all, we need to find each other with a common need and a standard access does that. We need to have a networking a portal style experience. All right, so uh, thank you so much for putting up with me, and uh, I hope uh, you'll join us. Oh, on March 28th, please come to our Blog Talk Radio Born to Serve show because we are inviting for the first time. Up to now, we just used them as teaching segments. It was a one way communication to talk about administrative solutions and our outlooks. Now we are asking for uh, audience participation because the databases and solutions that we are coming up with that we want to suggest to recovery.org should be a result of any any willing Americans participation anyone's participation uh, and again I just want to um, applaud President Obama for his outlook and his faith in the American people that he is uh, expecting us to overcome this and giving us uh, the outlook that uh, I knew all along that adversity is an opportunity. All right, this is truly, this economic crisis is truly an opportunity for all of us to bring our very best to the table. And when I say best, I mean our life experience. All right, don't ever undercut life experience for degrees and traditional credentials and all of that, because that's still a limited category. That's still a label. All right, so start seeing people as, as spherical. We are multidimensional. We are the sum total of our experiences, choices, and hopes and dreams up to this point. All right. And if you're like me, which I believe you are, support with all your might those teachers who cause the learning. We are more alike than we are different. We are all human beings. We all like to live indoors. We all like to have our lights on. We like to know our children are safe, are being educated, and have choices and freedom. All right, we're we're really all alike, okay? <laughs> More alike than we're different. All right, so I'm not going to get caught up in a bunch of politics and say uh, state versus federal government or whatever. I'm just going to come up with these many. Uh, I'm going to present our administrative solutions to Recovery.gov and President Obama and trust in our government to implement them. And my first. Um, my first uh, red flag mandate charter, if you will, is to say, look out for anything that you come up with. It's not going to be effective unless you start to look and see it. the poor work ethic, unethical, sometimes lazy, not want to fill out a form, not want to read their mail, not want to know about protest reclamation um, uh, processes or the processes that are available to help people or child welfare systems. They don't want to navigate it for the for the person for the uh, the claimant or the client, and so they go home early, or they just lose the paperwork, or they just don't want to be bothered, or they just charge you or bill you. You know, small businesses are really affected by that, and we have our own horror story about that. All right, then, thank you so much. Um, thank you. I'm going to end this right now. Um, much love and respect. This is Roxanne Greenwich, HigherLyrics.org.